make your life. Guys, Steve is just fixing it. We don't need that, like, we don't need volume. Do we? No, take us off the uh, screen as well, Steve. Put them in the slide. Yeah, I'm going to the slide is up. Okay. Well then, give us two seconds, guys. We're just going to check, to make sure the sound's working. So that one's real now. It's looping. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Turn it off. Too sound. <coughs> okay, guys. Um, can you all just confirm that the sound is now all right? And we got there. We don't have any loops. We had a Nazgul in the system for a minute there. Yeah. Are we okay? Let us know in the comments. Nine viewers right now. It's very nice. Mm. I can go there. Right. Sounds good. Cool. Cheers, Green Tree. Apart from the accents, it sounds fine. Oh, that's uh, shots fired, that's, Damien. Yeah, it's Mr. O'Brien. No. Mr. O'Brien, your kind. Mr. O'Brien is in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone watching. This is the Top Table Gaming YouTube channel, and we, well, mainly me and Sam, we've been doing a series of faction reviews yes. for the new edition of Middle Earth SPG, but we figured, since we've been testing live streaming today, and we've just recorded a very interesting battle, coming, to, describing it. coming to you guys this week, we figured, let's live stream one of these, right? Let's do it. And we're not doing Dunharrow. We're not doing Dunharrow. Sorry, Damien. Can't do it. We are doing a ghosty one, though. We are doing a ghosty one. We're going to cover Angmar today, so don't forget, guys, if you are watching, Make sure you check out our live streams, which are going to start this Wednesday. And if not, also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Helps us out a lot and makes us do more of this content. Afternoon, Glyn Seymour. How are you doing, buddy? Should we jump in? Let's jump in. Where we, so let's start with the army bonus for Angmar. Yes. So the better place to start. The army bonus for Angmar. Uh, if that fell, Kingdom should rise again. Rivendell, Norian, and the Shire, even Gondor itself shall fall. Uh, friendly Angmar orc models within three inches of a friendly spirit hero model gain the terror special rule. That's really nice. That nice. You've got a lot of those keywords floating yes. around in this list as we're going to touch on. Yeah. Which is pretty good. It's, it's not bad. Yeah. Got a lot of use. And then, obviously, the other thing we're going to cover before we dive into the profiles is the army bonus. The army bonus? Yeah. No, we, not the army bonus. The allies. Ally matrix. Allies. Allies. There we go. Allies allies the allies. Yeah. So, Angmar aren't very friendly. Uh, they're way up in the far north of Middle Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, they have no friends. No uh, they are red alliance with everybody, with the exception of Smaug and the Misty Mountains. Yes. Of which they are <laughs> no, so convenient allies. And me and Sam do have a knack when we pick these factions, picking the super easy ones <laughs> on the alliance table. Honestly, not on purpose. Yeah, I'm not going to look at it. No, it's all good. So, with that done, should we dive into the heroes of Angmar? Yeah, let's Has do. any of you guys played Angmar before? Uh, not in the new edition. Uh, no, not in new edition. I've, old I've, edition? I've old built an old edition Angmar army, mm -hmm. and um, I've not actually got to use it in game yet but I'm looking forward to we'll get it on the channel because 
Yeah. Awesome uh, Jamie Goodwin used to have a wicked No My Angmar army. He's, yeah. uh, he's tabled me more than once with that, yeah. which was great fun. Um, all right, let's dive in. So who's the first hero? Worth noting as well, if there is anyone, I've not checked, that, isn't, that doesn't have their profile printed here because it's elsewhere, we won't be covering yeah. it. There's a, there's a couple. Um, we'll just be covering the ones printed in the Angmar section of the new book. The Witch King, namely, is one who's not in the Angmar section but is in the Angmar army list. Yep. So we'll start with the Tainted. Cool. Uh, That's good. He is 120 points. Mm -hmm. He is a Spirit, Ringwraith, Mordor, Angmar, Infantry Hero. Yep. So the first one you can use the army bonus. Uh, Hero of Valor, which is 15. 15. Mm, yep, very yep. good. Uh, standard Ringwraith uh, stat line, move 6, fight 5, strike 4, defense 8, 1 tap 1, move courage 6. 2 might, 14 will, and 2 fate. So there is an interesting uh, change there. It used to be one might, twelve will, one mm. fate. So that's a really good change. That's a really good change. He's gained two will, a yeah. might, and a fate, which is huge. And I think it's about thirty points by Tom Harrison's stat map. Yeah, it's five Probably points per uh, might, will, and fate. So the points, points the same. Then. Yeah, points, same, same points, but he's gained a might, and two yeah. will, and a fate. Yeah. Uh, he can correct channel. That's mm -hmm. that's his only. Uh, heroic action other than your standard three. Yep. yep. Uh, he's got options for an armored fell beast, a fell beast, armored horse, and a horse. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've lost the horned up, horned fell beast option, but that's gone from all the uh, all the ring race. Uh, he's got hovering of evil, terror, and will of evil as his standard special rules as the ring race. Uh, miasmatic presence. Yeah. Uh, probably the best thing about him now. Yes. Uh, start the move phase. Four heroic actions are declared. The tainted may elect to spend a point of will. If he does this, to the end of the turn, all warrior models within six inches of the Tainted may not benefit from the standfast rule, nor take part in heroic actions. So the difference there is something we're seeing a lot with the race, which is they have to spend mm -hmm. will spend more to yeah. trigger these abilities that they used to have kind of yeah. just built in for free. And it's, it's all warrior, so you don't get benefit from your heroic actions anyway. Yes. But I, I think that is a brutal rule. Me too. They, you, so you, that's got stand fast. Stand fast and heroic actions. I mean, that's insane. Yeah. Like, and if you're saving that at the end of the game, yeah. you broke your opponent. Yeah. And you use that, they're in trouble. Or if yes, you've got are. a load of Thaden and all his royal guard charging yeah. towards you, you just go, actually, no, don't worry yeah. about it. You're not moving. Thaden, yeah. you can charge, but we yep. dudes can. Uh, you're leaving them behind. You're yeah. leaving them behind, which you'd be fine with, which yeah, is real good. Uh, he's still got seeping decay. Yep. Uh, at the start of fight phase, roll a d6 for each non, non spirit model, friendly or enemy, mm -hmm. in base contact with the tainted. Uh, if the model is a cavalry model, roll for both the mount and the rider. On the roll of six, he'll suffer a wound. Exactly the same, they just clarified that for a mount as you Yeah, also non spirit. Yes. yes. Uh, and then he's got uh, magic powers. The only new one he's got is Instill Fear, which mm -hmm. he casts on a 5 plus. Yeah, which we're going to which is a nice little rule. Good for clearing objectives. Yeah. So, how Brian. much tainted did you see in the old edition? Never. Do you think you'll see him with the additions in the uh, uh, stats and stuff? Uh, I know a, a certain Felby's Master who's been talking about dropping into his flying circus, so. <laughs> Very nice. Um, cool. Stopping. Heroic actions. Oh, it's huge. It's yeah. huge. It's so huge. Especially yeah. now, heroic actions are a lot more filtered. I mean, yes. it's the main three you're going to want to stop anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah, heroics can change games. And mm -hmm. being able to literally nullify that, yeah. I think, is massive. And especially if he's on a fell beast, he's got the mobility to put himself where he needs to he's be. He's also got a bigger base. Yes, yes, he does. You're right. Being on the bigger base, you can get within six. Yeah. So yeah, tanking is pretty strong. And who is next, my friend? The Dwemer Lake? The Dwemer Lane. Cool, to a lane, to a lane, to a lane. All right. He's not so bad anymore. Uh, he's still 120 points. Yep. Got all the keywords of his tainted friend. Cool. Uh, Hero of Valor. Mm -hmm. uh, same basic stat line. He's, uh, he's got zero might, 16 will, two fate. Yep. Not changed. Uh, he has heavy armor and a two handed sword, so he has to go two handed. Nice. Uh, again, heroic channeling, same options as the tainted. Uh, fell beast, armor yep. fell beast, armor force force. Uh, the three. Special rules, Harboring uh, Terror and Will of Evil. Yep, all uh, good. And he has Sap Fortitude. Mm -hmm. um, every time a hero model within six inches of the Dwemer Lake uh, spends a point of might, will, or fate. Interestingly, that doesn't say friendly or enemy hero. Doesn't there, uh, does it? No. Hero. And then it's clarified further down, it's okay. fine. Uh, so every time a hero model within six inches of the Dwemer Lake spends a point of might, will, or fate, the Dwemer Lake may elect to spend a point of will. If he does, wrong with six, on a four plus, the enemy hero must spend an additional point of the same type for the deed to be cancelled and any might, will or fate already committed will be lost. Note that a hero model that wishes to spend multiple points of might, will or fate may wait to see how the Dwemer Link's role affects their first point of might, will or fate before committing to spending any more. The Dwemer Link will have to spend a point of will for every point he wishes to affect, though he may wait to see how his first point of will affected his opponent before deciding to spend another point of will. Man, nice. that is a mouthful. That is a big old special rule. Yeah. It's basically, it's double. 
<laughs> it's what it was in the FAQ. Yeah. Um, and this is the one time that this goes against the core rules of the game. Yes. Um, but mainly for spending well, usually when you spend all, you have to declare straight up. Um, but here, you can do it one at a time. Real good. And again, he's got in still fear. Uh, same spells, same casting values. So, uh, Drake Harrigan on two, Transfix on a three, Compel on a four, Black Dart in still fear, and Sapwell on a five. So Obviously, Sapwell's we know gone Sapwell's gone off Sapwell's across gone. the board because three rakes just needed to blow yeah. things up. Um, but yeah, looking good, so that's the second rake coming. Yes. Who's next? Uh, probably the most improved profile, well, probably behind the barrel. Uh, yeah, Gullivar, Terrible Gullivar, this is one of my favourite models in the range. This we need to get him on the channel. Yeah. We are. He's uh, painted, he's ready to go. He's ready to go. He is a beautiful model. Let's he do it, man. He is 200 points. Same points. He is Spirit Angmar Monster Infantry Hero. Cool. So another Spirit Hero for you. Mm -hmm. uh, Hero of Balas, again, can be 15. Yep. He is move 6, fight 7, strength 8, defense 5, uh, a number of attacks, wounds 4, and a number of courage. Mm -hmm. uh, 3 might, 3 will, 0 fate. Uh, so he's gone up to fight 7. Yes. Uh, he was fight 6, so he's gained his fight value's gone up, which is really good because it means he's up the top. He can, elves. He can non all those heroes who don't have strike. Yeah, he can. And believe me, he will non them. Yeah, he will. And points value is the same, right? Points, points value is the same. same. And we've never got to the good stuff yet. Yeah, he's he's it, got yeah. a heroic strength and heroic defense. I'm not going to lie, I don't think you're ever going to use those. No. Don't need to. Nope. Uh, he's got fly, uh, harboring of evil, monstrous charge. Yeah. Uh, resistance to magic and terror. So harbinger of evil, that's uh, minus one courage. And obviously it's the monstrous charge that's used, so it means his attacks are going up and he's knocked down. Plus one attack and knocked down on the charge. And because the monster, it works on camp too. Yes. He's a beast now in combat. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he's still got a mortal hunger. Um, so he regains a single wound for each model he stays in combat. Mm -hmm. uh, he can get wounds back by rending, but that's the only brutal power attack he can use. Yep. Yeah. Uh, can't go above four wounds. And then strength of body, strength of will, attacks and courage are always equal to his remaining boots. The fact that a full health on the charge, he's rolling five dice. Yeah, like, he's, he's so good. good. Mm. God, if he's trapping more. And he's Hero of Valor. Like the first three heroes we've looked at have all been Hero of Valor. Yeah, mm. so you can you can really you can afford these bigger heroes mm. because you're not in the old like Hero 12, Hero 12 pattern anymore. You can mm. cut back on some heroes that you probably would take in an army like Angmar that could use orcs and things because yeah. you're going to just want to swap numbers. Just spam it, yeah. Like, yeah. I think he's going to wreck face. And of course, he's got the resistance to magic, to protect him against magic. This guy is just a combat the bees. Yes. So I think you're going to see a lot more of Gullivar. Do you think that's yeah. fair to say? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Some people wanting on the various trade pages. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's been interesting with the new edition, watching the models people are hunting. <laughs> like, who's got a Lendil? Who's got a Sealed? <laughs> who's got a Numenor? <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool, so that's Gullivar done. Butter. Another one of my, my favourite. My favourite hero. He's cool. Go on, let's read Butter. Go on, let's read it. Yeah, yeah, go on. Take us through. So, are we comparing? Yep, you, yeah. you read it and I'll interject with any changes. So, Butter is 110 points. Yep. He's a troll. He has the troll and my monster infantry hero keywords. Yep. He's a hero of valour again. Oh, good. Move six. Yep. Fight six. Mm -hmm. Strength six. Mm -hmm. Defense six. Three attacks. Three wounds. Courage four. And he's three one one on might will fate. So and yeah. he also has a four plus shoot value. Yes, all exactly the same. And yeah. I agree, Glenn. I do smell cheese when we go through the color of our profile. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so but there, what else has he got? Uh, his war gear is he carries a pick. Yep. Oh. Four. Um, so that's it. <laughs> Not a sword. It's a pick. Um, heroic he, actions, he has access to a heroic strike, strength and challenge. So that's worth touching on straight away, he's one of the rare evil heroes with strike. I think was in 19. I've heard 19, I think yeah. Will did the maths on it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, he's, he's fight 6, he can strike, and he can go to strength 7 with this and strike. Mm -hmm. That's it's pretty in, horrible. Yeah, it's insane. Um, special rules, terror, throw yep. stones with a range of 12 and a strength of 8, which mm -hmm. is good in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Not that you want to be standing with steel throwing stones. No, he's going to be wrecking face here. Yeah. Um, special rule, lead by example. This is new. Uh, in a turn which Birdo slays an enemy hero or monster model in combat, all friendly Angmar art models and troll models within six inches of him count as being in range of a banner. Nice. So he has to go first and slay the enemy for that to work. Yes. Whoa, which, with huge. him being a monster, You'd, you'd yeah. get them out of the way first anyway, you like hurls yeah. and stuff you would. Yeah. That's massive. I mean, in Gullivar, touching back on that and Birda, neither of them have gone up in points, but they've just become, they've leveled yeah. up, haven't they? Yeah, they have. They are two incredible heroes now. And, yeah. and again, right, we, we, we overlooked it, Glenn's kind of touched on 
some stuff, but like they're also both monsters, so they're going to get broken power attacks. They can mm-hmm. randomly need to. Gullivar, Birdo probably wouldn't at strength seven. No, but if you got to Gullivar at strength eight, they wouldn't. Yeah. But like the fact that Birdo can strike as well, and these two are three hundred and ten points for the pair. But a thousand points you're going to see. You, you can easily get those two under eight. Yeah, you'd be. St- yeah, you're coming and in. And, like, and then that's under what's that? What's, what's an orc? What's an orc? With a six points. Six points. That is, and then sort of seven with a shield. That's five base. So six. So six. six. Yeah. So well, what's, what's third? 180. 180. 180. 180. 500 points. So for 500 points, you get those under, two. you get those two and 30 orcs. That's, that's pretty nice, man. A That's 50, my next list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a 650. Roll the tools. Yeah. Dude, a 650, if you drop a couple of orcs, you can also whack a, a fell beast. Oh, but you know, <laughs> these, these three bring, bring 45 slots with them. That's, yeah. Well, and you're not even uh, a thousand not. points. You're getting so many, mm. so many toys. You're gonna be taking chase. Anyway, we to barrel. We get to them. We yes. barely scraped the barrel. We're four or five profiles in, so let's let's move on. But I think it's safe to say Gullivar and Berda are now absolute bosses. And yeah. Steve's got that. Expect Looking to see bad. a whip of Steve's uh, painting table this year. Oh, done. Berda and Gullivar. Well, we'll get them on the channel then, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. They'll be in back soon. So what's next, my man? We've got shades. Everyone's favourite so, model. The controversial profile of Angmar yes. of the game. Yeah. Some could say, let's go through it. Uh, so, you okay, Karen? That's what I'm saying. Right. Uh, Shades 100 points, yep. as it was. Um, Spirit, Angmar, Infantry Hero. Hero of Fortitude, so we're down to, <laughs> level, we're down to level 12. So that's last. Fine. Uh, move 6, Fight 1, Shoot Value 4. Yep. Uh, strength 1, Defense 8, 1 Attack, uh, 3 Wounds, Courage 1, uh, No Might, 8 Will, 0 Pint. So the interesting point is the Will has gone up from 3 to 8. Yes. So you've got 5 more Will. Yeah, uh, the shade is never considered unarmed. It's always mm-hmm. got some weird weapons, but obviously it can't strike. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got blades of the dead and terror, so yep. it stri- uh, strikes you on courage, um, which can sometimes be a downside if you're fighting elves. Yes. Uh, and chill aura at the start of the fight phase, before heroic actions are declared, a shade may spend a point of will to activate its ability. Any enemy model within six inches of one or more shades suffers a minus one penalty on its dual roll. This is cumulative with other such penalties, such as wielding a toy weapon. So that's really interesting because. You could say it's a nerf, but you've gained five will. Yeah, and the interesting thing is, five rounds of combat. The, the only thing, thing is, tournament, if you think of it tournament wise, five to six turns is such a lot. That's, yeah. you, you're lucky to get. So to he's six kind of covering it. I mean, I suppose the intention is that you can just sap all his will, but sap will got a lot worse. Yeah. And now cast on a five, and it isn't the plus one; it's just the d three, right? Yeah. Um. So I think he is about the same. I think. I think the, the key to the shade is magicking him to move away. Yes, I think so. Yeah, because he's not going to be—he's going to be very sparse with the amount of will he spends throwing it into resisting because he's going to want to keep it to keep his ability. Yeah. And hello to Devin, who is watching from across the pond. Yes. Uh, so the shade's an interesting one. I would say he sits at he, about the same fine, as he yeah. was. He's not changed. Uh, be interesting to play him in the new edition. Yep. Yeah. yeah I'm right. pretty scared of wizards now. In a, in a thousand points, you, you're going to want to take. You, you can afford to take one. Yep. Yeah. 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 Because he's got the bubble on it, so yeah. I mean, I think now he's 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 not it's not that he's less effective. It's just that there's there's, there's, there's things now in the game yeah. that are not going to be as affected by him. Yeah. yeah, if that makes sense. Um, there are ways to mitigate him now. I think yeah. that's what they've given. Yeah. It. It's not the he's behind three ranks of orcs that you're never going to get through because it's a huge line. Mm-hmm. There are now ways to mitigate him and actually turn it off if you put the word sentinels. Yeah, sentinels. Exactly. Sentinels. Cool, so that's the shade done. Who have we got next, pal? Uh, so next we have the Barry White. Barry White. Barry White. Uh, 50 okay. points. And Quinn has joined us. Hey, Quinn. Hey, Quinn. Quinn Durbin 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 is in the house. Cool. Uh, so the Barry White is Spirit, Angmar, Infantry, Hero, Hero of Fortitude. Yep. Uh, move 6, Fight 3, uh, Strength 3, Defense 7, 1 Attack, 2 Wounds, Crash 6. Uh, no Might, 5 Will, 0 Picked. So a couple of big changes there. He's gone up to strength three, and he's gained a wound. It has that that wound is? He's got that second massive. wound, which is huge, and it's still at fifty points. So, so fifty points. You've gained a wound and a strength. He has three. Uh, heavy armor, sword, blades, dead, terror, paralyzed, on a four plus. Yes. So he's not other than that wound, which I think is the biggest change and yeah. the best change. Mm-hmm. He's not I, I never really seen many of these. It's because only have one wound. Yeah. yeah. So you take the spectres, wouldn't you? Yeah. Over these, a fifty-point model. I wound. I don't mind dropping a barrel right in. They're the same price as a captain, and if you mm. can get a paralyzed off on a big hero, mm. especially now with these big heroes, you can't always get above them. I think barrel whites are a legitimate shout. And with five yeah. chances to do it. With five chances to do it, you know, you just one dice every time. Eventually, you're going to get it. That's yeah. true. There's a fifty-fifty chance to get it. Yeah. 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 You paralyze Aragorn. 
doesn't matter, you can't throw a strike if he's yeah. drooling on the floor. Yeah, that's true. Cool, fire right done. Fire right done. Angmar Orc Captain? Angmar Orc Captain is a standard Orc Captain. We know this guy, right? points, yes, the Angmar keyword. Yep. Uh, armor, sword, or pick. Mm-hmm. They can uh, right march. Good. They can take a wild Orc bow or shield. Cool. Yeah, we can, that's fine. Yeah, standard Orc Captain profile. Yeah, and then we've got the Shaman. Yes. So this guy has seen some changes. He has. Which we'll cover. So go for it, Sam. He is a minor hero. He's going to need six. Uh, he is move six, fight weapon three, strength three, def- defense five, one attack, two wounds, courage three, one three one. Uh, heavy, heavy armor, dagger, spear. Uh, heroic channeling. He can have a warg for ten points because they made the made the model. Mm. And he has wither and instill fear. So he used to have fury and transfix. So mm-hmm. you've lost your fury there. And uh, so uh, on a Related note, you used mm. to be able to upgrade, was it dog, uh, with the Necromancer profile, was it the dog will do a shamans? Uh, I think, yeah. And they could have wither. Mm. Um, so it's nice to see that they've moved it into yes. Angmar. That's cool. So what does, uh, so tell us what wither and instant fear do. Uh, wither reduces your strength by one for the rest yep. of the game. Uh, That's, and you're casting that Is that regardless of whether the shaman then is at will or gets killed, it's for the rest of the game, so a full stop. stop. Yeah. That's interesting. Wow. That's, if, you, if you throw that at the right hero, they're probably yeah. going to chuck a couple of will to make just sure that doesn't happen. Just going to check the rule book. That's all good. You do that three times on the right hero. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just checking the uh, the channel. I mean, Elisar doesn't care, but <laughs> other people. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Instill Fear is a three inch terror bubble. Yeah. Um, so if you bet one model within the range, takes the courage test. Yeah. If you fail, then everyone moves away. That's cool. If they pass, then. Well, Sam's checking because we don't really know what we're talking about. How are you guys in the comments? Are you enjoying the stream? Are you enjoying your weekends? What hobby have you all got up to? Let's take a quick five minute intermission from this and see what you're all doing. And while we're on that, is is this kind of faction review, would you prefer something like this or would you prefer the sort of structured just camera on two guys talking about the the Uh, profiles? What do you prefer? If you guys haven't watched it, we've got a playlist that's already got... We've covered the Fellowship, we've covered Fangorn, Misty we've Mountains. covered Misty Mountains, we've covered a few already, and me and Sam are slowly working for them. Go and check them out. Okay. So, Wither is mm. disgusting. <laughs> okay. Um, power affects one model in the range. Target strength is reduced by one to minimum one for the remainder of the game. If it's cavalry, you must choose whether it's the rider or the mount. If you channel it, it's reduced by D3. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that's <laughs> worth a cheeky... That's, that's a challenge. That is... That could really just I'm upset some three plus as well. If you yeah. hit a six casting that, that <laughs> could be. Yeah, and the thing is, we've just talked about how like point efficient this army is. You could have just the shaman that's built to just channel it as soon as in range and just throw three dice at it, yeah. <laughs> just to really upset someone. That is pretty tasty. Yeah, it's, that's but, nice. Up to now, this army is still doing what it always did and, and stopping you doing stuff. Yeah. With your army, so everything when you're you're building your army, I think right, I'll put that in because I can do this. I'll put that in because yeah. that is just shutting everything down. I love it. I so love it. apparently, instill fear is a bit different. All models must take a courage test. Ah, okay. So Thank you for the heads up there. You, you guys know best. That's so good. Ah. We're still learning this new edition. Uh, I'm at work. Absolute good. disaster. Doing Dunharrow would be a gross improvement. I think we're going to do Dunharrow last. Should, should we do Dunharrow for him? Should we we'll see how we get through this. We'll, yeah. we'll see. We'll see how we get on and mm-hmm. what time. And you let us know where, which is the best evening for you. And if we can squeeze it in, we'll do it. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Right. Like a plan. But cool. obviously, we want tea for that. Plenty of tea. We do. I don't drink tea. Me, don't, me and Jay will have tea. We'll drink tea. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So Green Tree's working on some off terrain. Very nice. Make sure you post it in the group. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see that. So I think we've covered. Have we covered all the heroes? Yeah, we've got one more hero. We've got one more, but he's not in the old Angmar book. He's, 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 he's in Warrior. Yeah. So this is the mighty Wild Wild Chieftain. Wicked yeah. model. Like Made famous. Crazy good model. Yeah. Like on the, it's the dude on the rock with the dead Rowan. Right. That's what. Right. A lot of people used it for. Uh, White Wild. Yeah, yeah, White Wild. Yeah, oh, for the dismount. The dismount, yeah. yeah. Uh, so he is 80 points, so I believe he's gone up uh, yeah. 5 points. Uh, he is move 10, fight 5, shoot value 5, uh, strength 6, defense 5, 3 attacks, 3 runes, courage 4, 2 might, 2 will, 1 fate. Uh, now that has gone up, he used to be 1 3 1, mm-hmm. so he's now 2 2 1. So he's lost the point of will, which he didn't really need, but gained a point of might, which is huge. Yeah. Uh, he can march and heroic strength. Mm-hmm. He has terror, and he has pack lord, which is only friend, uh, only friendly wild models may benefit from a wild wild's uh, cheap. What about Chieftain stand for Which makes sense. Makes sense. You never it's saw not... a great deal of them, did you? Uh, I'm yeah, not sure you will. Um, you you might do. 
I think it's the pack lord. Yeah. That, that kind of like the mobility is great. Uh, it's the pack lord that kind of having two off. might is big now because you, you used to have yeah. one might, which was a heroic move, which not to benefit from. Like you, in this army, you could quite easily drop him in as a little objective hunter. Be a splash. It's the low defense as well, though, for the points. Yeah, yeah. but five five is nice again without yeah. strike. Like that was his issue in the last edition was. You know, you box down a captain and just get to strike above him. To be fair, him with six wargs, as you say, is a little like speed force and mm-hmm. isn't that expensive. Very cool. Yeah. Alright. And we're into warriors. So we've covered all the hero heroes. Heroes. Hero. Hero. We've hero. covered all the heroes of Magma. Let us know in the comments what you think, who's your favourite, although if it's not Gullivar or Birdie, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we will start tuning through the warriors. Yep. Let's do it. So we've got our basic Angmar Orc Warrior. Mm-hmm. Uh, has the Angmar keyword. Uh, I think as we touched on earlier, he's five points. Yep. Uh, he can take an orc bow, a shield, a spear, a turned weapon, all for a point each, mm-hmm. and can have a banner for 25 points. Cool. And their base wargear is a sword or a pick. Yep. Um, box standards, I think you're going to see, I think, I think you're going to want to spam these guys. Yeah, of course. You know, you're going to max, max out your war bands, get yeah. some uh, get some spirit heroes there, and bird on the side, and jobs yeah. are good. Yeah, yep. I think when I, when I painted and built my, I did, I think I've mentioned it before. I just give all my orc spears. Yeah. Just give them all spears. Because yeah, you can just, just support each other. Yeah. yeah. It just helps. Kind of like cheering built in, right? Yeah. When you get used to playing like that, you yeah. kind of want it on everything that you play in mass. Yeah, it's, 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 it's good. Right. It's cool. Mm. Um, but yeah, so that's the so that's Angmar the, Orcs. The humble orc warrior. We've got the uh, Angmar Wild Riders, mm-hmm. uh, which have the Angmar Cavalry Warrior Orc keyword. Uh, still fight only three, still strength three, defense four, one attack, one wound, courage two. Mm-hmm. Uh, point less. Point less. Uh, yep. 11 points now, so gone down a point. Which is really good because I love, not necessarily the models, but I love the thought of the, a war guy. The, me- the metal models are really nice. The yeah. metals are beautiful. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's the plastic wargs. I've nice. just never got the plastic warg aesthetic. I really like yeah. the uh, fell wargs. Mm-hmm. The, the thing is, um, I did some a long time ago on the new wargs, yeah. putting them on, but just that scene from the movie is so iconic. Mm-hmm. I'd love to run it. I wish it was a little bit better. Yeah, well, it might be now, you never know. Yeah, okay. There could be a list. Uh, they still take the same same order options banner, orc, bow, shield, throwing spear. Uh, throwing spear is an out point instead of two points. Yeah. Which is good. Cause it's, it's good having a banner and a warg as well, giving that banner the mobility to get it to which side of the line. Yeah. With Angmar as well, a lot of the Angmar lists I've played, they deploy long and thick yeah. with like double ranks of orcs, and they're going to sit. So having that banner really flexible to get it to the side of the battlefield that you want the reroll, mm-hmm. the 10 inch move, I think, gives you that. Yeah. Uh, you can take cave trolls. Yes, which is nice. Seventy-five points. Uh, troll wants to OP warrior. Uh, all sixes and all threes. Uh, move six, fight six, drink six, defense six. Three attacks, three wounds, go three. He's got five points left. Some points. He is. Uh, it's come down. Great. Mm-hmm. So it's come down. He's armed with the spear. That's okay. standard. Uh, you can take a troll chain for five points, or you can swap your spear for a hand and a half hammer for five points. So, so that's, you get the spear for free. Well, yeah. no, what you do is you give him the hammer and you go back to, yeah. the, to the eight. Um, troll chain, throw him up in range three, uh, strength five, and he's got burly, terror, and throw stones. So the strength of the chain has gone up by one. Yep. Cool. And he's burly. Yeah. Uh, uh, some, anything at 80 points that can do brutal power attacks and hurl, especially in, a, in an addition, I think we're going to see a lot of Rohan, a lot of he, cavalry. He, he's just going right. two handed without the minus one. He's fight six, he's strength six, he's going to yeah. wreck face with three attacks. Um, I think he's really good. Damien, you have said Tom H took all an all wag to Titans Tour a few years ago. This. He lost every single game and came dead last. It was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. <laughs> so was that Tom losing every game that was beautiful, or the army? And if you've got pictures of the army, that does sound cool. Can you stick it in the top table group Facebook for us, man? Absolutely awesome. Is that nice? Is it cool? Yeah, they're pretty. We've got two what's more. The, sorry, what's the hero on the wag that's really rare? Because I think they had this out, oh, out at. Um, Seven stone. Oh, Cole, there's Cole, no pro for it now, is it? Yeah, it's just a not captain. Yeah, cool. The former. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also. Probably not. Also. <laughs> uh, he's technically not captain, but I think a lot of people. He, he looks like a good or bad. Sorry, a Moria Black Shield captain mm. who had a little bit too much to be. No, he's still he's pretty. A big guy, yeah. isn't he? Anyway. I reckon if we put a wild pill on you, you will turn into some green pot <laughs> ears. Yeah. Get <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. some face paint on him. Wow! Well, guys, enjoy the one and only time you're going to see Sam on these live streams. Uh, get my respect, let's change the subject. Yeah. <laughs> well, I enjoy that. Uh, get my respect, 15 points. Yep. He's also a really good painter. 
Yeah, he is. Uh, so Did anyone see this? It's very non Lord of the Rings. Did you see the mountain that rides yeah, on the bus? Yeah, yeah, it was nice. Oh, I love it. And I very nearly sent him one of those to paint, and now I'm kicking myself. <laughs> yeah, anyway, right. sorry. Uh, so, Dead Mosh Spectre, 15 points. Uh, Spirit, Angmar, Infantry Warrior. Uh, heavy Armor and Sword, Blaze of the Dead Terror. And they've still got a Fell Out within them, which hasn't changed. Um, they can choose a single enemy model anywhere within 12 and line of sight. This model must pass the carriage test or make a full move under control of the Spectre's controlling player, even if it's already moved. This move cannot be used to enter an enemy model's control zone or perform actions that would cause direct harm to the target, such as jumping down a cliff. It may also not be used to have the target dismount or lay down. Affected models may move no further that turn and may not use active abilities for the remainder of the move phase. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. So they've got Blades of the Dead extra on top of the old one. Yes. Because these guys caused me more trouble than most units in there. I'll never forget one of the first learning games I had. I was learning with kind of like an orc, Isengard, kind of mashup. And my two favourite heroes were Shaka and Warg and Thryden. Yeah. And I ran into an Angmar list. Yeah. And at the end of the game, I had four models left and Thryden and Shaka were both back in my deployment zone <laughs> and they never got to combat. Because every time they got close, they would turn around and send yeah. back again. It's it's such an incredible kind of tool that they've got yeah. available. They're just I did, wicked. I did see a... Uh, Comment pop up before Damien's essay for How about the cave team. trolls. <laughs> uh, it's, it's worth noting, uh, Glenn, that the cave troll will be 80 points if you want to go plus one to wound because you need to swap the spear for the hand and half hammer, which costs five points. Mm -hmm. um, but still, 80 points is dirt cheap for something that can get plus one to wound. Yep. And good afternoon, Scott Johnson. Yes. Hey, buddy. Um, so, yeah, so is that, is that, we've got, that, that's the spectrum. We've just got the wild wags left, okay. which is the wild wag. It's seven points. It's a walk. Is it infantry? So you know you do not get plus one attacking. I keep mm -hmm. seeing that on the GTA. I, I don't know how they can make it any clearer. I think infantry. Uh, move ten, spike three, strength four, defense four, one attack, one wound, courage two. Very nice. So they weren't in the old Angmar list. They were not. Um, and one that's gone off it is the old trucker. Yes. Oh, good point. Uh, let me just check the what? thing at the front. I don't think it's in there anymore. No, it's not. Nope. A couple of changes. So what do we reckon? I think we answered it about three minutes in. Yeah. What do we reckon a competitive Angmar list looks like? Let's say 800 points. 800 points. For me, it's got like Gullivar, Burda, and, and a Wraith, and then just Span. Span walks. That leaves you with like 300 points, which is... No, less than that. You think a Wraith is 170? Mm -hmm. uh, it's 170. 370, yeah, yeah, 480. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Uh, leaves you with 300 points. Your 45 orcs to go with them is 270. And then a couple of spectres. Couple Those spectres. three heroes, ton of orcs, couple of spectres. Is that my throne of skulls list? Have I just you've got well, you, ministerial? You can stick your shade in, you've got another two hundred, you're oh. going to <laughs> I, I think they would you drop in a shade? A thousand. I mean, yeah, right. probably. Or do you drop in two barrel waves? I Ooh. would put Well you've got two hundred left, so you do both. I know, you, you, you get more, you get more dudes in. Yeah, you need, you you need, need, you need I would, at, at a thousand, I would drop in two barrel whites because then you're spreading your spirit heroes along that line. Yeah. So everyone's then got terror, and then you you got ten paralyzes for those heroes. I'd want the banner in there as well. All right, yeah. I, I want to take the shaman just to just to channel the uh, the, the wither and just yeah. go lose D3 strength. <laughs> and for the one out of six games I get it off, it would be glorious. Yeah, would be nice. when they, when oh, look, Gimli, you strength two, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. So I think we've all just convinced ourselves we might be putting an Angmar on this together. Well, just before, uh, just before this dropped, I sold all my generic water orcs. Uh oh Like a bit of a tool, so I've only got about 10 that I dropped in my water army. So, so you'll pick more up very yeah, easily. Yeah, all my Angmar orcs are all converted. Glenn makes a good point. Maybe Dwimelate to sap more might than fate. So yeah, it's then at that point, like Border and Gullivar are going to go unchallenged a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That's a very good shout over the Titan. Yeah, I mean the the Dwemer Lake is still going to be a pain. I don't think he's quite as effective now. He has to spend points of will. Yes. Because it you, you did he gain any? No. It's going to be very easy for the Dwemer Lake's player to get carried away and just keep spending will. Yes. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, the Dwemer Lake's on two will and he's gone. Well, we realised yeah. that with that little fun back that we did. Yeah. Well, we played uh, we played Weathertop uh, a couple of weeks ago with Tom Jennings. Name race and Weathertop. No, 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 no. no, just no, no. Well, it was okay. Okay. But it was surprising how quick. He kind of yeah. threw everything into killing Aragorn before Aragorn got to Weathertop. And then when he got there, I think four out of his five race couldn't cast a spell or go into combat because they just yeah. And the, the, the aim of the game was to kill. Come at me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, so that is our Anmar review, and we winged it and did it live. It yeah. was good. I hope you enjoyed it. Are we, have we got time to do Damien's now? God, it's only two for a pause. I'm a skating work to go some dinner. Cheers for the content, it was great fun. More soon, please. Love you. Oh, oh you're going. Sorry, We're yeah. good. Uh, no. Nope. Sorry, there? guys. Damien ruined it for you all. Nobody's getting good power. Well, I think what we'll do is if we give it another couple of minutes, if anyone's got any questions about the latest yeah. or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, we can hang around. Um, anyone got any questions? We can talk between us for a few minutes. What? Uh, so, uh, if, <laughs> <laughs> so if if you were going to ally mm. with Angmar, obviously everything is red. Yeah. With the exception of Smile Mr. Mountains. Is it worth losing your army bonus? Which is the, the terror from spirits? Is it, is it worth losing? I mean, look at your so your spirits. So in, in the probably in more the list that we just said anyway. got two spirits in, right? Uh, uh, cost okay. the, uh, eight. Oh, battle yeah. We splashed them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so that's four. Yeah, that's four. So you could get terror across. Yeah. Oh, I mean, orcs causing terror is something that. It's, yeah. it's going to mean you can, never when lines them. hit, if they leave gaps, it means you can do what orcs need to do, which is wrap the superior numbers and, and you get to, to choose where the combat's yeah. and who's in combat. Yeah. So, because there'll be a lot of failed first yeah. checks I just to charge orcs. don't feel like there's anything I'm missing. So, 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 to go and hit an allied force. Like, yeah, so I've got were, the punch in my big hero. Yeah. Even, like, I've I think got this big is, numbers. on paper, one of the best lists. I think Because so. of what it's got, what it brings. You've got yeah. your numbers. You've you can got... still bring a fully tooled up Witch King in this as a Hero of Legends. I mean, you're taking a load of enemy reposition, which is huge in any game. You're taking loads of numbers. You're taking multiple monsters, which mm. terrifies everyone, because there's only so many of those that can transfix and shut down, yeah. and that got worse. And even, yeah, even then, transfix is You've got the Fell well. Beast and the Wraith, so you've got good magic output yourself. Like, got on it. it. Have you got it? Smaug. Yep. Good about. 900. Shade. 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 <laughs> Thousand. <laughs> Thousand points. <laughs> and this is why we don't play sad. Yeah. But I genuinely think that Anmar have got everything they need. Like, yes. Oh, yeah, and a few spare need. tricks. Yeah. Um, I think they're going to be super strong. They've got cavalry, they've got monsters, they've got magic. So what we're saying is basically that, that the army bonus they get is well worth it. not trying to yes. put something else powerful in there. Yes. Yeah. If you're playing, you're playing a pure Angmar army, I don't think there's anything that you'd want from other other lists. Mm. Maybe ranged, you know, but then evil doesn't do ranged all that well. No, that's true. Um, once you, they've lost the model trackers, you can still take orcs with bows, and you can take uh, wild riders with bows. I, I think their power is going to be um, all in, you know, all in smashing. So, uh, Quinn, just do a quick Mordor review. Mordor would never be a quick I'd like to get home tonight, Quinn. Yeah, yeah. Not happening. <laughs> and Devin says, the technique is going to be a big pick for me. He can choose to just ignore heroic move, dice offs whenever you have priority. Yeah. True. Gullivar, yeah. <laughs> horror. Oh. Is that 600? Uh, uh, it's 350, not a barrel. 550. Just 550. But still, imagine. <laughs> uh, and, and one person at this table has been on the receiving end of a barrel. Today. We want to follow the battle report. Yeah, it's a 550 point list. Yeah, that would terrify Yeah, that'd be 550. Yeah. But Devin makes a real strong point. That, yeah. like, how many games hinge on the the, the heroic move off? Well, every game. You you know, got, know, if, I won that, if I had that 50 50, I would have won the game. Yeah, you can always you kind of that. channel a win loss down to it. And there's nothing rock. your opponent can do about it because it's before heroic actions are declared. So yeah. it's, not like, it's not like you can stop the you can stop him. Yeah, he's just doing it. He's just doing it. Like, I think he, um, I know Mick has said it before on the DBHL, the Tainted is now one of the best ring riffs. Yes, he's one of the, the best heroes in the game. And he, got the, of, and he got the might to the Wheel of Fate as well. Yeah. Like, he got a couple, he's got an extra might point, he's got an extra fate point, so he's not going to be like targeting him, it's not going to be as easy. Like, I think he's pretty legit. Weirdly, the Tainted was one of the only named ring riffs I painted from before, yeah. from before this. And he wasn't seen. No, I've never used like him ever, right? No, I didn't, no. I've never seen him. I don't think on the table. But I think he's gonna be real good, at, not just in Angmar, but in like Mordor as well. Like any list that he can be taking, in, he's gonna be strong. Full of ours, two hundred. He is. He is two hundred. Yeah, correct. And the barrel is three fifty. Yeah, but um, no, I, I I really like the look of Angmar. I mm -hmm. think it is. I, I've got a smallish army. Well, saying that with the heroes, yeah, it probably is quite. In terms of sort, in terms yeah, of yeah, I've got all the heroes. Bar good of We'll have to. We'll have to get. I've got. I've actually got. So I've got. I've got Angmar. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got an Arnor army on on route. Yes, yeah, so uh, that'd be really cool. Tom's painting it for me, so nice. we, we could do a bat rep to get it on the channel, right? That'd be cool. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, we could do that. Um, we could get because I think Tom Jennings has played Angmar before. Yeah, man. Get Tom in. Control Angmar. And okay. a week of commentator, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that means everyone who knows the, what they're doing is playing. We'd be awful. We need to do it the other way. Oh, yeah, he's a commentator. Commentators need to know. Yeah. But 
We hope you've enjoyed this it's live been review. It's yeah. been good fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably call it there, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. We hope you've enjoyed this video. And do us a favor before you leave us today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share the channel and the group around Facebook. We want to really grow a huge community here and see what we can do for this game and others. So let people know this is a channel you want to follow. Enjoy our content, guys. And we will see you in the next video or this coming Wednesday for a live stream. It'll be Wednesday next year. Wednesday. Yep. Wednesday, 7 p.m. We've got a two-hour live stream that's fair game for anything you guys want to chat about. So hopefully we'll see you then. Oh, it's going to be fun. See you later. Live long and prosper. It's just me. I am the king. Do you know the good thing? Oh.